I try my best as a reasonable Slytherin to respect how people get down. But the second these people open their mouth, I know exactly how many bitches they get. None. None. Like and subscribe. None. Resident, Resident Evil 2. Hello, beta testers. I don't want to sound too cool when I read this, so if you'll just allow me to to say this in the way that I feel is fitting. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy has officially broken an all-time Twitch record for being the most watched single-player game with 1.3 million viewers. Not too shabby, huh, Mom? You said video games aren't a big deal. So that boycott's going pretty well, huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. What, what happened to that boycott, oh, though? What, I, is what, stop poking me. Oh, you don't like that, but there wasn't some girl trying to make her cry. Talk about, oh, if you play this game, you're hurting us. Oh, and left, and right, and left, and right, and right, and left, and left, to the beat. It's left, to the beat. It's right. And forward, Afraid and then back. Hit, Come over here. How about that? And now you're up. And then I fuck you. And then I dip, 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 and then I drop you. Pirouette. And to the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. Gah, gah, gah. To the left. To the right. Love you so. Akio. Incendio. High fi rush. 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 What? What you fucking say? Get your ass over here. Talking all of that shit. Defeated by a fucking gate. What the hell was that? The trans people said, I've made this site and it will put your name on a list if you so much as play that game. What game you may be asking? That game. It that shall not be named. And if I see you on this list, I'm gonna unscrew. We're in the full-on tantrum phase. First they boycott game, then they harass gamers, then all reviews are invalid because they mad at author. Their phone's made by slaves, but somehow that don't bother. They forget to wipey with their filled up diapy, smear it on their tweet because their opinions are made of, uh, you know, something that rhymes with tweet. What the fuck? Oh, they would have damaged the enemies out here when we were fighting. I wasn't situationally aware enough to understand that they could be used. That would have been sick. And then they're all like, eh, eh, the bones. That was once our meal and now it's being used in an attack against us. Oh no. I honest to God expected a rational voice in the trans community to just disown this sort of illogical behavior, especially over something as trivial as a video game. But whenever a logical take would surface, the unhinged and more acceptable trans stances would come and bury it. What do the kids call this again? A ratio? A ratio dumb? Living up to Twitter's name, of course, it's super effective at hurting itself in confusion. I suspect those are jokes that you dweebs get listening to this video. Like and subscribe. It's not a bad thing either. It comes with experience and some of us have a lot of XP. We've been grinding for quite a while, if you know what I mean. Certainly longer than these activists trying to disguise as games journalists because whatever it takes to make it, you know what I mean? You guys will give yourself pats on the back in the echo chamber. Just stop thinking you could affect the real world. My nigga, reality would like to have a word with you. You've been practicing in the mirror and that's great. You're confident. We're happy for you. But... Maybe when even your IGN ally reviewer says it's almost like criticism can be nuanced and even games that are legitimately awesome aren't without their issues in response to you screeching. The IGN Hogwarts Legacy review is one of the funniest pieces of games writing ever. This game barely works. Inventory can hold four items. There are two enemies. What? What is this Marvel's Avengers? 
The story and world building make no sense. And it's said about how the author is a bigot, but I love Potter, so 9 out of 10. To which the IGN reviewer directly responded, things I didn't say in my review. Riddled with issues, horrible bugs, but I like it anyway because of my fandom? But you gotta understand, the best shot they have is to make things up and get people riled up believing that. There are only extremes, there's no in-betweens. And in fact, something that us normals have assessed for a long time is the best way to handle some of these people, the best way to respond to some of them, is not to respond at all. And with this knowledge, you have a golden ticket. It really doesn't get any more middle school than composition notebook listing a bunch of people you're going to unfollow because they don't agree with you. Man. Ooh, boy. If I were trans people right now, I would be offering my services and I'd be saying to people, hey, you want your thing to succeed? We, the trans community, will publicly hate your product for a nominal fee, of course. That's right, for a low, low price, we can make your product a figurative hill that we die on in a war that will just incentivize people to patronize you almost exclusively because they're sick of our irrational shit. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? They are the ones associating these fictional characters with a race of people, but we're the racists? It's a game that you don't like and you don't want to play and you're telling people not to play, but you're hyper involved in the names of the characters and you're judging the names, you know, you're judging it. Can you do that in real life? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that name's not trans enough for you, man. How many hills can you simultaneously stand on to die on? You've only got four limbs. You're trying to, you're trying to use your elbows to like get, get some, get onto another hill. What you stupid bitch. This video was supposed to be waka waka fun time. Let me drop some of the cringe clips that I recorded with me being an idiot in Hogwarts Legacy. But I can't even fit all the stupid in here, man. You know, computers breaking, graphics card shit in the bed, and only you and your patronage. Go to my wish list right now. I know your dad makes a lot of money. And just buy a computer. Do it. Do it. And if I were trans, do you understand? <laughs> You have any idea the things that I'd call you? Because if you don't, then you must be. You know what I'm saying? You're not buying me a computer. Oh my God. You're you're acting like a real splurf right now. Write in the comment section what you think that means. We can we can make it up right now. You know this game's not out yet, right? Only people playing the game right now are the hardcore loser fans. I'm one of them. So you, you know, I know who I'm talking about. Okay? Who, who didn't, we're not sharing the pool right now with the PP babies. Who, 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 you know what I mean? Those butt bloods that didn't pay the extra $10. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Okay. Calm down. All right. I honestly have no idea why they would be upset when they're represented so wonderfully, so gracefully by peeves in game. You know that website they made that was listing people who were streaming Hogwarts Legacy to, you know, help people know who to unfollow? It was actually putting people who have not played Hogwarts Legacy on it, funnily enough. And it's because it was built by a trans person. And they're playing in secret and they're loving every second of it. What an exhilarating dream come to true, a passion project that's a love letter to this universe. You know what I mean? We could pray. We would have to pray for TV shows and movies to be that faithful to the original. Writing and gaming has gotten so lazy and tone deaf that Saints Row reboot, Forspoken, Midnight Suns show just how cringe, out of touch, and Twitter echo chamber the writer's room on these projects are. It doesn't need to be Velma. It doesn't need to be the forgettable Lord of the Rings that everybody hates. You could just not fire the guy who wants to be Superman that everybody appreciates. He's charismatic. And that's what this game did. It went the way that would benefit the, the story, the universe. And people are mad, but they said it themselves. Its quality speaks for itself. And I'm sorry to these developers that they got to put up with this. But they're going to get what they deserve, which is accolades and praise. And if the trans community is not intelligent enough to mitigate their hilarious reaction to the success of this game, they will only invite those of us amused by this 
just sad and irrational behavior to hopefully set up another wave of it come the end of the year when it's time to vote for the best game. Do you know what I'm saying? Leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you soon. Hit up the wish list. Happy birthday to 